Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well today we're going to add a little dynamic content banner to our header here. And what it does, it pulls in the site name and pulls in the page name. So if we go to a different page, you can see the name changes right there. And we've also added a little shop now button to take people to the shop page. Really easy to do, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is go to our dashboard. I'm going to go down to Divi. And we've got to go down to the theme builder itself because we're using a custom header that we created. There it is right there. Have a look at that video if you're not sure how to set that up. It'll be in the playlist below this one. So hit the little edit button. Once loaded, I'm simply going to get rid of the row that I created for that, which is this green one right here. So I'm going to trash that and we'll start again. OK, well, let's create a row. It'll be on the bottom, but we'll move it up to the top afterwards. And because I'm adding a button, I'm going to use this little one right here, which is three columns, but the middle one's twice as big as the others. Don't want to put anything in the first column there. Second column is where we'll put our dynamic content. Third column, let's start there. We'll put in our button. Divi comes as standard with all these light gray modules. I've got another plugin called Supreme Modules installed as well. It gives me an extra 40 or so additional ones. But all these light gray ones comes as standard with Divi and it's pretty much all you need to build up any sort of website. So let's add a little button and we'll say shop now as I'm going to link it to the shop page obviously you link it to wherever you want to link yours to and let's go down and for the link I'm going to hit the little sort of disk icon over here just click on it it's dynamic content and you can choose to have author page home posts page links I'm going to link to a page and let's link it to our shop there we go save that great let's quickly put a bit of style on this button we use custom styles button text color I'm going to make white of course it disappears into the white background there but let's make our color background color this sort of hot pink that I've been using here I've got a free chrome extension a color picker here I'm just going to click on that copy the color and let's add our background color here. There we go, fantastic. Now on hover, if we hit the little arrow just above button background here, it'll give us a desktop non-hover state and a hover state, which is the hover state, funnily enough. And let's make that, that sort of goldy orangey color, similar to that logo up there. I don't want any border on there. So I'm gonna take that down to zero. And we're done with our little button. Great. Now let's add our dynamic content to this section here. Now to do that, I'm just going to use a text module. So if we roll down, find a little text module. There we go. And I'm simply going to delete the content. And again, we've got that little disk, multiple disk looking icon here to add dynamic content. If we click on that, and decide what we want to add. I want to add actually the site title, which is Divi Gear, the name of this particular site. Fantastic. As you can see, it's right there. So we just need to style that up a little bit. I'm just going to go into text. I want it to be in the middle. So let's put it in the middle. I think I want it to be uppercase. So let's hit the two caps right there. I want it to be a lot bigger. Something like that. And I want it to be bolder. So let's make it font weight semi bold. I think that's going to do it. OK, well, let's save that. And what I want to do is give this row a background color, but I want it to be full width also. So let's go into the row, the green tab we got blue tab for a section, green tab for a row, 
and the dark tab for the module. I'm going to go into the row. I'm going to give it a background color. Simply going to use a simple purple. Now I want to make this row full width, so we need to go to design, sizing, width, slide this all the way up to 100%. Then copy the 100% or you can simply type it in the max width box below. That will give you a full width row right there. Let's save our changes. Now I'm going to go back into this one and I'm going to make that text light in color. Design, text. Simply going to make that white. There we go, that stands out nicely. Now I'm going to duplicate this module two little squares right there because in this one I want it to pull in with dynamic content so let's just get rid of what's there again hit the little disk icon dynamic content I actually want it to pull in the page name and that's the post archive title so whenever you switch pages it'll put the page name below there I don't want that quite as big as that so let's go into our design to text and bring the size down to something that works. Something like that, I guess. Now there's way too much space between those two elements. And I've got too much space on the bottom here. Let's work on the top one first. So we'll go in here to the top one, Divi Gear, Design and Spacing. And we'll take away any padding and margin from the top and the bottom so I'll zero put zeros in here and here there yeah, we've got none on the bottom so that's that's dragged that up a little bit better and we don't want any padding on the top okay so that might be in the row that's fine let's add a little bit more to the bottom and just put a little bit more space between those two let's see 10 pixels that's fine and below this one we now want to go into the other module and do the same thing we want to get rid of any spacing on the bottom because we don't want that to be too wide so we're going to go into the second module to the design and to the spacing again and let's just put a zero in at the bottom here on the padding no nope. uh, let's put a zero on the margin it's okay so we must need to edit the row to get that going so let's see what we've got here We'll go into the row, remember it's the green one for the row, blue for the section, dark for the module. Into the row. Let's go to our spacing on the row. And again, we'll put a zero on the top and bottom. I'm not sure if it's margin or padding. Padding, obviously, there it is. We'll put a zero, so I'm not going to mess with the bottom on the margin. Put a zero on the bottom. Great, that's a little bit less than I need so I need a little bit more on the top let's say let's try 15 on the top and let's try 10 on the bottom it's not too bad that's about right I think we want to push that button down slightly so let's go into our button and we'll put a bit of spacing on the top there now we're in spacing what we'll do we'll do it with margin because if I add padding it'll make it fatter at the top so I want to add margin I'll just add five and see what that does Ooh, that's almost there with the little arrows let's just take it down a little bit and that's about right right there great so we're happy with that let's just save that now we need to move the row up so it's on top of our menu right there just grab the little X in the left hand corner of the tab pull it up and drop it where you want it and there it is like that in case you have trouble positioning things you can always hit this little purple button and go to wireframe view and that will show you the actual modules in wireframe and you sometimes can move them around easier but I'm happy with that okay let's save our changes and we'll exit the theme builder make sure all our changes are saved it says they are I'm gonna hit that anyway visit the site 
you won't actually see any difference because we had that there in the beginning and there we are we've got our new top bar that looks exactly the same as the old one <laughs> with the dynamic content let's just change pages there we go that now says gear let's try another one let's go to let's see what sales got to say there we go sale fantastic so that is how you add a dynamic site title and page subtitle to your Divi theme I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day